put on the, the shows in these places, they'll give you data. That's part of the deal. Well, the data is showing that 48% of these people that are buying tickets were not born yet or, you know, were 10 years old or less when we toured last time. So half your arena are new faces, half the arena are the faces you hoped you would see again. I don't know how it gets better than that. that you know, we feel very lucky in that aspect. Um, and I'm not sure which one is bringing the energy more to which. You would think the youth would be bringing the energy, but the people that are coming back hopefully have seen this thing and know get what they're getting ready to see. And I, I hope that they're excited, and I hope that whole energy just comes back again. Now, six shows, I don't know, to tell you the truth. For me to get this big ass through six shows is going to be... It's going to be tough. I'm glad there's a kind of a break in the middle. But, uh, you know, so far on this run, we were lucky in Denver and Sacramento to totally blow the numbers that we were hoping to do. So we did 15 shows and 14 nights there. So uh, that was a little, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, that was, uh, that was a little physically rough and the voice. But these people don't care. They don't care if you can sing or not. They, if they would, they would have given my career anyway, you know. It's a Garth thing. Now, when the queen comes out, it'll be totally different. You'll notice that the band's really loose, and when the queen comes out, the band kind of stands up a little straighter. Everybody else goes, this is a woman that's going to come out that's going to remind you what a vocalist is, you know? <laughs>